Hi guys, with this video, I'm starting a new series called C Components. And in this series, I'm going to show you how to do specific things in, the, in C, i.e. the C programming language. Now I have here a simple C application. And before going to the application itself, I'm using code blocks as an IDE. IDE means Integrated Development Environment. And code blocks is an open source uh, program for you to develop your C, C++, and Fortran applications. Where can you get code blocks? You can get code blocks from codeblocks.org. And this is the website. And there you find all the information to that IDE. You can also download that IDE. And like I said, you can use it for C, C++, and Fortran uh, development. Obviously, you can also use other IDs like Visual Studio, like um, Eclipse, or you can also use Visual Studio Code, and that would look like this. And, you know, it doesn't matter which ID you use, main thing is you're comfortable with the way you run your applications in, uh, in that IDE, and, you know, a... You, you, yeah, basically you're comfortable with that ID. Now I'm going to stick to code blocks in this in this playlist, but that could change. That could change. I mean, if I notice that a certain video is better done in Visual Studio Code, then I'll do it in Visual Studio Code. Otherwise, I'm going to stick to code blocks. Right. Now, uh, we've settled the issue with the IDEs. Now let's uh, examine our application here. Now, First thing here, what is that up at the top? Well, that includes a certain header file or library, if you wish. And this is the standard input-output library called STDIO. Why do I need that? Well, uh, the C programming language is very sparse. It does not have a lot of functionality. So for certain functionality, you need to include some plugins or library. And in this case, I need to print something out. And without that, I cannot use this print statement. So that's why I need to include the standard input output uh, header file. So that explains this. Now, in your typical C application, you have a multitude of functions. But at the minimum, you must have one function. And this function must be called main. Every C application has to have a function called main because it the whole application starts with this function. And that's why I have here main because my, my program is a very simple program. It just consists of one function. And this is the main function. Now, when you define a function, when you define a function, you have to define three things. First, the name of the function. Well, here we have no choice. C forces us to call it main. The second thing I have to do is what does it return? Well, in this case, it returns an int. What's an int? An int is an integer. And that means that this function, once carried out, once executed, it returns an int. And this is what it does here. It returns a zero. And the third thing you have to define for a function is what does it take? What kind of parameters does it take? Well, in this case, it takes nothing. Now, I could have I, when, you, when you have a function which takes nothing, you can type the word void. And this, if I'm not mistaken, is, uh, you know, C has witnessed a multitude of uh, standards. And, and, uh, and uh, since the C99 standard, which took place in 1999, uh, it, was, it was decided that if you have no parameters, it is better to write void in there instead of leaving it empty. Uh, Older applications don't have anything if they don't pass any parameters, but uh, newer ones would have the word void. I'm going to use void just to, you know, stick to the modern standards. And that is my main function. And my main function, the whole body of that function is enclosed within those curly braces. Now, uh, 
everything here inside those curly braces that is the body of the function so what does this function do well it calls another function called printf and this function is part of the standard io or std io header and what this function does in this case you can see this function again like main has two parents but in contrast to main it does not take nothing or void but basically takes a string which is hi guys and every statement in c has to be terminated with a semicolon that's why here's a semicolon and here's a semicolon this here this here is a comment what it means now doesn't matter but this is a comment and i can see it like this older uh, uh, the official C version or C comment would be like this, uh, you know, slash uh, asterisk, and then you can type anything. And you see now, everything below that is commented. And to terminate the comment, I would have to do asterisk <clears throat> and slash. So that would be the official C comment. But again, I think as of C99, as of this C99 standard, uh, also, these comments are are um, are uh, um, uh, permitted, and these uh, this is the C plus plus style, right? So this comment is just a one line comment, whereas this comment can be can extend over multiple lines, as you can see. All this here would be a comment, whereas this one here just is valid for this line, right? And commenting is very useful. First of all, if you have certain code fragments which you wish to which you wish to switch off, like I did here, I switched that thing off by commenting it out. Or comments is also useful to you know uh, document your code and say you know what is going on here. Now that's why I advise you to to write readable code and in some instances maybe the code is not that readable for whatever reason, well then add some comments so that you or any other person uh, supposed to develop that code can understand what that code is supposed to do. And here, it is a pretty simple application, so I don't need to comment that. I don't need to write here a comment saying, oh yeah, this, this prints hi guys. I mean, this is pretty obvious from the code but in certain other instances where it's not that obvious or you have certain things which are dependent from other things, then here it's better to uh, write some comment. Right, so now we have our, um, our uh, application. And oh yeah, and uh, I don't know if I mentioned that, but every statement has to be terminated by, by a semicolon. Okay, so now here we have the whole uh, uh, C program explained. We have two functions. The main function is called main, takes an int, uh, sorry, returns an int, takes nothing. And the second function it, within main just uh, is the print function, which is, which, which, that's why that needs uh, standard IOH dot uh, H. And this print takes one parameter, which is basically hi guys. And then um, because we said main returns uh, an int, we return zero. So, and then here are a bunch of comments. And like I said, um, all C statements must be terminated with semicolon. So that's basically your whole C application. Now, how do I run it? Well, in, uh, in code blocks, you just go to um, build and run. And what happens is that a terminal window opens and it outputs exactly that what we expected. It says, hi guys, and then it stays open until you press any key. Now, this is here in code blocks like this, that the terminal window stays open until I press return or any other key for that matter, and then it closes. Now, in some other environments or, or compilers or IDEs, that window, that terminal window closes instantly. And in order to avoid this instant closing, you can add this statement. Let me uncomment that. And in code blocks, you can comment and uncomment with the uh, control shift uh, C or X. And uh, now I've got that. Now what that, what that does, get char, it, what that uh, statement does is it makes your C program wait for input. Get char means get a character from the user. 
And in this case, what the, what the application does, it prints hi guys, and then it waits for you to press any key in order to, uh, to, to go further. And this is a nice trick to keep your terminal window open in case it shuts down immediately. And we can see it here, save, let's save that. And let me run it again. So here's my terminal window. And now you see my uh, terminal window has stopped here because now it is waiting for that, for me to input anything. So let's say if I input like, I don't know, like G and return, now I've reached the stage I had previously where I can press any, any, any key to uh, terminate the application. In code blocks, I don't need that, but in any other application where you need it, just, just include that, get char, open paran, close paran. Again, another function which, uh, which takes uh, another function, I can recognize it immediately through the parameters. And here again, if it's not supposed to take anything, you know, or, or any parameter, you can just type it within that, uh, within those parentheses. Right, so that's basically uh, a simple uh, C application. And uh, let's run that again. Now you see here, because I counted out get char, uh, it is not waiting for any input. The only thing what it now wants is for me to press any key to, to, to close the terminal window. Right, let me add another thing in this video before, before, uh, before uh, closing this video. And that is you have certain um, special uh, character combinations, which are called escape combinations or escape characters, which allow you to do certain things. For instance, if I need to have a new line, uh, let's say like uh, this, um, and I would like to have a new line between hi guys and how are you, there's one way to do it is basically backslash n. Now this combination backslash n means that this is a new line. So we have hi guys, a new line, and then how are you? And this is one, one combination. There are a multitude of combinations. The other one I know by heart is backslash T. So, which means if I do it here, so what that means now here, this is a new line. And here, what we have is a tab. So how are, and then tab you. And let's try it out. Let's save that and run it. And you can see here the new line uh, obviously the tab we can't see it. Let me try, let me try, let me try a, a couple of tabs. If that works better. And you can see here, now you can see it much better. I have hi guys. This is the effect of backslash n, the new line. And those three tabs are shown in here. So, and these are sort of the special characters you have there. A lot of other uh, special uh, escape combinations. One of them would do a sound. I, I forgot the combination, I have to look it up and so on. Right, with that, we're now able to, to create a simple C application which just prints anything I want.